Hey everyone, it's Joanne, and today I'm going to be doing a fall time cozy time book tag. So I did a couple of um, this tag a couple of times in my channel in the past, which I'll leave the last time I did this in the corner so you guys can check it out. I just love doing seasonal tags uh, every so often, and this one has always been my favorite since I started book two. So yeah, let's get to the tag. <laughs> So the first question is, crunchy leaves, the world is full of color, choose a book that has reds, oranges, yellows on the cover. The one that I could think of is the one that I've read recently is Blade of Secrets by Trisha Levenseller. Yeah, you can see there's a few reds here and there's oranges and there's a bit of yellows on the bottom. So yeah, this is has all those full colors on the cover. And the next question is, cozy swear, which is a little warm for... Um, a swear where I live, it's like 90 degrees out right now, and it's like in the beginning of September by the time I'm feeling this, so I wish I was wearing a, a cozy sweater, but anyways, it's finally cold enough to done warm, uh, warm cozy clothing. What book gives you the warm fuzzies? I have two to pick for this one, just because a lot of adult, uh, romances I've read, re um, recently I have given me um, some warm fuzzies. Um, that Romantics by Ashley Pasta gave me a warm fuzzies last year, and oh boy, I love this one so much. And the Romance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams, it gave me a warm fuzzy fuzzies this year, and I just love them both so much, and they both give me the warm fuzzies. <laughs> and the next question is, um, Fall Storm, the wind is howling, the rain is pounding. Choose a fa your favorite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day. I usually pick out uh, whichever is my favorite book that I can think of, but the one but I would talk about the genres that I usually read on rainy days. It's really hard to choose because sometimes I don't know what I'm in a mood for. A lot of times I read fantasy because um, you know, I'm a big fantasy reader, but I read mysteries a lot of times when it's like in a stormy day. Day or I would read romances if it's not stormy out, but yeah, I could, I possibly would read um, fantasy, depends on my mood, and uh, mysteries for um, to read on a rainy day. And the next question is cool, crisp air was the coolest char uh, character you would trade places with. I have a lot of cool characters that I want to trade places with, but I can't think of any on top of my head as of now just because I love too many characters to choose from, and plus. If I would have to choose which characters I would trade places with, it would um, be Audrey Rose because I love Audrey Rose and plus I love Thomas. <laughs> I love um, from um, the Stock, Stock and Check the Ripper series and I just read Capturing the Devil earlier this year and oh boy that broke my heart. But yeah, I would um, pick Audrey Rose because I love that character so much but I don't know what other characters I would trade places with at the moment. <laughs> And the next question is, Hot Apple Cider, what's the underhyped book do you think it, uh, do you want to see become the next biggest, hottest thing? There's a lot of underhyped books that I've, that I've loved, but the one I could think of is the one that is my, one of my favorite books of last year, which is Delphine and a Silver Needle by Alyssa Milne. This, uh, for someone who is a big Disney lover, I, I, or a big Disney fan, I love this book so much. I mean, it's about one Cinderella's mice, and I just love the cover. I'm like... Why wouldn't this not be hyped, you know? And I and I know this is a middle grade, but I just love the story so much, and I love Delphine, and oh, I really want to read the sequel so much, and I just haven't picked it up yet. But yeah, this is definitely one of the books that I would definitely recommend to anybody who loves um, Desi or is in the mood for reading a, um, a Desi book. So yeah, this would be the one I would think deserves the hype. And the next question is, coat, scarves, and mittens, the weather has turned cold, it's time to cover up. What's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you like to keep hidden in the public? I always pick Twilight every time I think of this question, but the, for this time around, I I honestly don't have any book covers that I'm embarrassed to cover up, other than um, a book that I replaced because it got um, um, damaged with my original copy. I would cover... Um, Always Never Yours by Emily Wibbery and statement, um, Austin Statement Broca because I like the original covers. I'm not a big fan of the the new covers, to be honest with you, but I mean, I like the story, but the new covers are bit, pretty mad to me, and it looks like it's, they're trying to make it like a, um, a young adult version of the adult romances right now. I don't know. I, I think I would definitely be covering this up because I don't like it, 
the new cover so much and I like the original covers because the old copy that I have got damaged, but yeah, I'm not a fan of these covers so much. And the next question is, Pumpkin Spice, what's your favorite fall time comfort foods? I always answer this one with um, not fall themed foods because I always eat normal foods in the fall time like uh, vanilla Starbucks for Chinos, um sugar cookies I eat any time of the year other than Christmas and always make the pumpkin shaped uh, sugar cookies like with the cookie cutters and everything but I'll tell you my husband's favorites so I know it's um, apple cider donuts and um, um, uh, roasted corn uh, what else what else what else he he loves in the fall time pumpkin pie apple pie yeah any of those things I know he just had a pumpkin apple pie, pie ice cream when we went out to for our ice cream the other day he loves that so yeah those are my husband's favorites but I don't have a lot of fall time favorite foods though and the last question is warm cozy bonfire spread the cozy warm take who do you take I'm not, I don't usually take in book tags anymore because I don't know who would want to be tagged but if you want to do this take I would say go right ahead I'm just not always good I'm not good at tagging people I don't tag people in book tags anymore just because I like to do them for fun and I don't know how many people watch book tags these days but I always love doing them every month because it's really fun still to, for me any, anyways but yeah I would say like yeah if you want to do this take go right ahead so that's all for the fall time cozy time book tag if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite uh, what books that you're planning on reading this fall or your favorite uh, fall time foods that I would like to know and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so we don't know if I ever post new videos also you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads which all links will be down below for you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>